I tested the best AI humanizers and these are the top five right now. So the winner is ChatGPT, the second best one is Walter Wright's AI, the third best one is Grubby AI, the fourth is GPT Human, and the fifth one is Claude AI. And in this video, I will show you how I tested this, how I came to these conclusions, and whether I actually believe in this technology or not, and what you should actually understand from these results. So if you're just looking for the top five, there it is. You don't need to watch the entire video, but I highly recommend you watching it because I will also show you what happens if I carefully craft a humanizer prompt. And I will also talk to you about something you have to understand before you actually go and use these tools. And by the way, if you're watching this video a couple of months after I have published it, make sure to check the up-to-date list of the best AI humanizers right now in the description of the video. So there's the official page that I keep up to date. So if this video gets old, you will still find the best tools right there. First of all, let me show you how I was able to test these AI humanizers and how I was able to compare those with one another based on a number. So it all starts here from ChatGPT. So I ran these AI humanizers all through the same test. So I came here to ChatGPT and I told it to create a bunch of pieces of content, for instance, a 200 word formal essay on climate change policy. And then I basically collected those AI generated pieces of content into this one file. And by the way, you can find a link to this in the description because if you want to try the same thing, you can use these samples instead of creating those ones by yourself. So I created a formal essay, a casual blog post, a creative writing, and a piece of technical explanation. So these are entirely different pieces of AI generated content. So I wanted to see if the AI humanizers would perform well with one of these types or with everyone or whatever, basically. So these ones that you see right now are AI generated pieces of content. And right now, let's take, for example, this formal essay on climate change policy. And let's go to originality AI. So this is an AI detector. So if we click detect AI content and we copy paste this here and we hit scan, we're going to see that it says that this is likely AI. So it is 100% confident that this piece of content is AI written, which it indeed is because I just whipped it up using ChatGPT. So then I went to these tools that I have tested. So for instance, here I'm trying out a tool called gpthuman.ai and I can click on start humanizing and then I can just copy paste the content here, click enhanced humanization and click humanize. And then after a couple of seconds, it will spit out a humanized version of this original AI generated piece of content. And now I can just click um, to copy on the clipboard and then I can go back to Originality AI. So remember, this is an AI detector. We can click AI Content Detection and we can copy paste the humanized piece of content here. And now after I have scanned the content, it is saying that this is with 93% confidence human written. So I just took this AI generated piece of content, put it through a humanization process here, and I came back to this AI detector and now it says that this is human written piece of content. And then to create a comparison point, I ran all these AI generated pieces of content through a bunch of popular AI detectors. And I created a table like this based on the scores. So these are the human scores that these different tools, for example, originality gave me based on these AI generated pieces of content. And now for instance, here you can see that on average, these pieces of AI generated garbage got a score of 6.88% human. So these are mostly AI written based on these AI detectors. And now to compare the performance of these AI humanization tools, I did the exact same tests. That is, I ran those text chapters through these AI detectors. But before I did that, I humanized every piece of content with these different tools. So that way I can compare these bare AI generated pieces of content and their performance when I run these through the AI detectors to the performance of what happens when I run these pieces of AI generated content through these AI humanizers. So I hope this makes sense to you. I know there's a lot of moving parts here, a lot of new stuff here, but basically I'm just 
in short terms, I'm just testing how much AI there is in an AI generated piece of content. And then I humanize this with one of those tools. And then I test how much AI there is left after the humanization. So that's basically it. So to get some data, I had to run this through a bunch of these tools and a bunch of different styles of content to get more reliable results. But nonetheless, that is the point of this video. So now I will show you the tables of different AI humanizers and how they performed with these AI generated content pieces and with these AI detectors. And now with all that being said, we can jump into the results. That is what are the best AI humanizers right now? And the number one is ChatGPT. The number two is Walter Wright's AI. The number three is Grubby AI. The number four is GPT Human AI. And the number five is Claude AI. But now if we jump into these results, you're going to see a couple of interesting things here. So first and foremost, for instance, ChatGPT, which is the best AI humanizer, got an average human score of 72% in these different AI detectors. So I took the original AI generated pieces of content, I fed those back into ChatGPT and I told it to humanize it, and these are the scores. And um, in the ideal case, you should always see 100%, because 100% human score basically just means that this content is 100% human written. And in the less ideal situation, you should see scores like 1% or 0% where it suggests that the entire content is still produced with AI, even though we did the humanization. So on a surface, this 72% score might look even good to somebody. But to me, this reveals the brutal and the honest truth about these tools. So for example, even though I had humanized all these pieces of text, Winston AI, which is right now the best AI detector, still spotted that it is entirely AI written. So that is the issue. It all depends on what AI detector you're using. And now that ChatGPT turned out to be the best AI content humanizer, I obviously wanted to try it with a couple of different prompts. And in this one, I just generated the prompt using ChatGPT. So I literally told ChatGPT to create text. Then I told it to create a prompt with which I can humanize that text. And with that alone, I got 72% human score on average on all these AI detectors. So for sure, I should be able to improve this a lot by just customizing the prompt by myself, right? Well, this is actually what I tested. So I created this kind of a prompt. You are an AI content humanizer. I want you to avoid generic AI jargon and patterns in the content. I want you not to use any filler words, any words that are out of norm, any words that don't directly add value to the content. Basically, I want you to keep it informative, short and concise and casual. And then I also added this. So to help you, feel free to copy my writing style from the sample blog post that I have written a couple of weeks ago. And then I added this blog post into this prompt where the ChatGPT can now read my writing style. So it can actually analyze the patterns and everything that I do as I write. So this is a human written piece of content that I have produced. So now I have told the AI exactly what to do. And with this, it should be able to produce human content because it knows how I write and what I want from it. And here's what happens. So I took these samples that I showed you earlier. So these are the ChatGPT generated non-humanized pieces of content. And I took those and I fed those all through the same prompt. And the results I got were looking good. But when I ran these through the AI detectors, the score actually just decreased. So I only got 47.5% human score on average. So as you can see, Winston AI wasn't convinced at all. Originality AI had mixed feelings, so two times it was not fooled and two times it was. And it's a similar story with Quillbot Detector. So actually by creating a prompt where I tell the AI to write in my exact writing style, that is a human writing style, and with all these instructions, I wasn't improving the result at all. So as I showed you, with the first attempt, I actually got 72% human score, which is decent. But with this improved prompt, I only got 47.5%.
So I wasn't really even able to improve this. So if you use AI to produce content, it will naturally sound like AI. And if you use AI to humanize an AI written piece of content, it will still sound AI because it's still produced with AI. So I think that's what's happening here. And that's actually why don't we don't even need to go through these other results that carefully. So we can just see that, okay, ChatGPT was able to give us 72% human score. Walter Wright's AI is very close. It is 70%. If I had used a bigger sample size, if I do more tests, these might actually switch around. So you could just as well get that number one is Walter Wright's AI. But then when it comes to Grubby AI, we already got a worse score of closer to 60% with GPT human. That's the same story. And with Claude AI, which is a similar chatbot to ChatGPT, I was a bit surprised to find that this also gave only 60%. Of course, actually, now that I think about it, this sample size is still very small. So if I had used different text samples, different prompts, for instance, with ChatGPT, we could have still seen a bunch of different results. But the story is still the same. So I don't need to do a bigger test simply because even if I use a random test like this, where I only have a couple of pieces of content and a couple of content detectors, if the number is not closer to 100%, I can already conclude that these tools simply don't work. If I were to say that these tools actually work, I would love to see a number of like 99.5% or even 99.9% .9 because that way you could actually call these humanizers reliable. But that being said, make sure to check the link in the description to the official list of these best AI humanizers because I will keep it up to date. So if there are some developments, if I find out a tool that actually works well, and if there is something you should actually try, I will for sure add it into the list as well. So at the time of making this video, I don't think any of these tools are good enough, but who knows what happens in the next couple of months.